Assalamu everybody, my name is Rahim and welcome to Muslim React. We react to everything and anything Muslim. So that we're reacting to Andrew Tate's being charged with rape and human trafficking. I wasn't expecting this. But anyway, let's Andrew Tate, self-described misogynist and internet personality, along with his brother. Wait. Andrew Tate, self-described misogynist. When did he ever describe himself as a misogynist? I'm pretty sure this news, wherever they are, they heal. They are one of those feminist lead uh, organizations. Yeah have been indicted in Romania on charges of human trafficking, rape, forming an organized crime group, and this is according to the prosecutors. So Andrew Tate obviously was arrested um, some weeks ago, spent some time in jail, has been under house arrest. He's been allowed to tweet. He's been sharing his thoughts again, him and his brother. Now come the charges, which are for sex trafficking, rape, etc. It sounds like the prosecutor's theory is that him and the brother lured women to their home um, under the pretext of it being like just dating and then induced them to make sex videos, prosecutors say, under threat of violence and abusive comments, et cetera. So those are the charges. Yeah, um, but he profited from, to the exclusion right. of the women. I, I mean, I, I, right. they were a kind of sex content generating, uh, adult content generating factory for him and that he allegedly engaged in techniques known to sex traffickers wherein he held himself out as a sincere romantic interest to the women to induce them, them to basically create products that he could sell for his benefit. Sure. Yeah. And, you know, part of the controversy was that he was a very popular online figure that was, you know, carried a significant degree of uh, influence with young, arguably impressionable boys and young men who were taking some of his teachings about how to interact with women, how to get women to like you, and how one should model themselves as a man very seriously. So long before he was accused of any actual criminal wrongdoing, he was the focus of a lot of public critique because of the kind of masculinity that he was modeling. In fact, I think that we have a clip that demonstrates some of the flavor of the content he would put out. Mm, let's play that. I recently posted a question on Twitter asking, would you rather have sex with a transsexual, which is a legitimate 10, or a woman, which is a legitimate one? And everyone's sitting there clicking woman, 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 because they think they're going to be gay if they do anything else, but they're not actually thinking about the question. When I say a one and a 10, I mean Megan Fox with a d that's the tranny, or Hulk Hogan with a p that's the girl. This is the question I'm asking, Megan Fox or Hulk Hogan? So you're thinking, well, I don't want to be gay, so uh, I just uh, clicked the girl, the number one, did it? You're gonna f Hulk Hogan. Okay, there's a f he's got mustache and muscles and shit. He's all hairy, big dude, six foot five. It's pretty gay to me. That sounds pretty gay. I don't care if it's a f that is gay. It's a great theoretical question. One of those, <laughs> would you rather fight like a thousand um, rat sized horses or one, one horse, horse sized rat? rat. Yeah, those kind of, what would you do? Yeah, situations. the kind of questions that many of us liked to ask each other when we were at middle school sleepovers. And I think part of the critique of Andrew yes, Tate is that he has a very raising young. Raising those theoreticals. <laughs> back in middle school. Okay, all right. <laughs> But like you know, he there's something very much like teenage boyish about the way that he presents to the world. But in other respects, very adult behavior. Uh, some background: he he is uh, has one British and one American parent. Was raised in an estate in London, I guess, in the United Kingdom. The son of a catering assistant and a chess master. Uh, this is from a write up in the Guardian. Uh, through his 20s, he worked as a TV producer while training as a kickboxer at the local gym, going on to fight professionally and win world titles. In 2016, his public-facing career appeared to be over uh, when it had barely begun, when after being cast in Big Brother, reality TV show, he was ejected from the house over a video of him hitting a woman with a belt. A second video emerged shortly afterward in which he is shown telling a woman to count the bruises he apparently caused to her. Both Tate and the women denied any abuse occurred and said the clips showed consensual 
consensual sex. Um, when the Me Too— um, The woman, the victim said that, yeah. too. Yes. The next month, uh, he apparently waded into the Me Too water, saying that women should bear responsibility, uh, bear some responsibility for being raped, a view which he has repeated uh, afterward and which led to him ultimately being barred from Twitter. Yeah. That kind of censorship debate uh, sparked some of— uh, some significant defense of him and elevated his profile as well. Yeah, look, I want to be careful here because obviously I think he's said a number of things, including the quotes you just gave there, that are vile. And uh, I don't think he's a good role model for anyone, let alone young men. I don't think, I don't think he's someone that should be celebrated. He he seems to have this kind of cult sway, cult following. Mm -hmm. I think that's unhealthy and improper. Um, I said I don't think. Um, I, it, it is not and should not be a crime. I mean, maybe it is in Romania. I don't know. To, to say really deeply misogynistic things is not something I want to imprison people for um, or for consensual, seemingly dangerous or violent, but consensual sex between sure, adults. but that's is not what not, we're... Well, no, but you, right. You said in that example, for instance, the victim... And I, I know from the U.S. context, uh, my colleague... But that has reason, nothing to do with what... That's a two-year-old article. That has nothing to do with the charges. No, no, no I know, but... Well, but I don't know. Are the, the women here in these circumstances, do they, you know, do all of them or some of them or which ones feel that they were abused? Is this the authorities just projecting onto that, their own view of the case onto that? I, I, I know in the... Well, just, just wait a minute. I know from the U.S. context that sex trafficking is a crime assigned to um, consensual prostitution type arrangements, which as a libertarian I don't think should be illegal. I don't know that that's the case here. I'm just approaching it with a little bit of caution because I have seen our own law enforcement um, utterly weaponize this category for things that are unsavory or that we don't approve of but are not, is, is not protecting victims from predators, but just going after people who are engaged in something that is not accepted. Sure. But there are very specific charges here of keeping women who are making sex tapes for him that he's not paying them for under false pretenses. That's right. the claim. So I read that. what I read from the Guardian article as background as to why people haven't liked him for years. But that has nothing to do with the criminal charges that he's facing now. Um, but it doesn't mean that he doesn't have a, a number of defenders. Uh, Kat Turd, famous poster on Twitter, uh, tweeted, whether you're Julian Assange, Donald Trump, or Andrew Tate, uh, if you speak truth to power, the corrupt governments of the world will try to jail, bankrupt, and erase you. You know, it's an interesting <laughs> So I'm grouping. somewhere between you and Kat Turd in this, I guess. <laughs> I don't but, think— But what have I—I I haven't said any—I haven't made any claims. I'm just talking about what he's actually yeah. been accused of. But I don't just, know right. anything about his guilt or innocence at all. Sure. But, and just because he's been accused of something, just because that's law enforcement's view of the case, and again, specifically on these issues, I think law enforcement is often not actually doing what's in the best interest of victims of sex crimes or anything like that. Yeah, I think, I think that is true, but I also think it's wrong to imply, when we also don't have knowledge of this, that mm -hmm. these were just prostitutes that are getting caught up in you know, an anti-sex work police roundup. What what is being alleged here has nothing to do with sex work in any traditional sense. These are women. What has been alleged, and this is just what's been alleged. What's been alleged is not that, you know, they're going after sex workers and this is this is a sting. That they are there are women who he held himself out as having had a personal re romantic relationship with, and because they think they're his girlfriend, they're willing to perform them uh, perform sex acts on tape, which he then markets and uses to get very wealthy, and buy all of his Lamborghinis and stuff that he shows off in his videos, and then doesn't pay them and restricts potentially, arguably, allegedly, their ability to leave and you know, recoup the, the actual benefits of their own labor. That, that's what he's being charged of. So there's a, a group of behaviors and activities that people don't like because they just seem repugnant, you know, to the conscience, but aren't illegal. And now there are these legal charges that, you know, we'll see how they pan out. But I, I don't think that it's at all accurate to compare him to Julian Assange, no, who's I don't a journalist <laughs> who I, reported— I don't know what truth he has spoken to power. Right. Um, I guess the truth is, would you rather right. Hulk Hogan 
or right and maybe there's more of a selective Megan prosecution argument Fox. that can loop these three people together but i do think it's worth distinguishing someone who's being selectively prosecuted because they embarrass the us government by rep reporting on details of their um, repugnant actions around the world donald trump who really did a self own own goal by simply not returning some documents maybe selective prosecution but completely avoidable and andrew tate who has very proudly engaged in behaviors that are certainly to many people, morally repugnant and potentially now crossing the uh, line into um, violence against women or uh, sex trafficking, allegedly. Well, we will see. Tomorrow on Rising, we'll continue to cover any updates on the COVID origins reporting. Very interested and invested in that, so we will absolutely talk about it again. Please stay tuned. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss any content. For those of you who prefer to listen while you're on the go, we're now available anywhere you listen to podcasts. See you later. Bye-bye. Clearly, you can see both of these guys don't like Andrew, but the guy was a little bit logic in the things he says. Look, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know what the truth is, but people are always concentrating on the little things that Andrew said, the bad, the bad things. What happens to the, I think, 90% of the things he says are actually positive, so why don't they concentrate on the positive part too? I know I ain't got much to say. I'm no lawyer. This has been Muslim React. We'll react to everything and anything Muslim. Until next time, hope Andrew will be free. Inshallah soon. Peace.